We got Joey walking up. All right, Joey, let's get things going for you. Uh, Rashawn, why don't you start us off? Hey, Joey. Um, on the outside, it, it's easy to say, you know, you guys had double-digit leads, but it's like, okay, there's, Bra there's Brady, there's Breeze on the other side. Um, but what are you guys saying? What does what, what the film showed you in terms of things that you can kind of work on um, to prevent those? Um, right now, I don't think we're too sure. If I think if we had the answers, we'd be stopping them, but uh, we don't. And uh, I think it really just comes down to execution, and we're not we're not executing how we have to. <clears throat> it's not will, it's not want to. Everybody has given great effort, and everybody wants to win, but uh, we're not making the plays. We're not executing the way we have to to win at the end of the game. And I think it's might just be as simple as that. What's the, the most frustrating? Obviously, the, the, the losses, obviously, but aside from that, what's the most frustrating? Is it the, the lack of execution? Is it the injuries? What do you find the most frustration? Um, it's uh, Out of that, it's definitely the lack of execution. Uh, everybody deals with injuries. Um, when, we, when we get up on these teams by however many points, 17 or whatever it was, uh, we have to we have to finish uh we have to execute like i like i said um we just have to do better at the end of the game thank you chris hey joe you know 2017 started very similar in terms of of the start but you guys crawled out of that uh, what what did that 2017 team do to to get back on track eventually get to 9 and 7 that year um, you know, I think this bye week's coming at a good time right now for us. Get get some guys healthy, get Melvin back, get JJ back. Um, I'm sure some other guys definitely need need this time. Uh, Keenan obviously was out this past week. But I think it's just, just about taking it one game at a time. I think our first goal should be just trying to get to back to 500, get to four and four, and the end halfway through the season, 500, and uh, – you know, everything we, we want is, is still in front of us. It's no time to panic. But, uh, you know, we, we, we have to do things differently. We have to, we have to finish at the, end of the, at the end of the game. And uh, I think once we do and once we prove it to ourselves and to each other that we can, uh, games will start stacking up on each other. Appreciate it. Thanks. Yep. Jeff. Joey, this was an unplanned uh, bye week for you guys. I would imagine you're one of the guys that doesn't mind, given that some of the physical stuff you're dealing with, right? Yeah, it's great to have. Um, but like we've been saying, when when week nine or ten rolls around, when we were supposed to have a bye week, we're going to be wishing that we had it then. Um, but, you know, we have to take it. I think right now it's something that we need, um, especially selfishly. I, I need it right now. Um, it's it's actually it's huge for a lot of guys, but like I said, once week ten rolls around, we're going to be bumming that we don't have a week off then. And this week for you, what are you? Is it a lot of treatment, that kind of stuff? I imagine you're you'll probably yeah. be going into the facility pretty much all the time, right? Every day, I mean. <laughs> Kitty. Yeah, <laughs> sorry um, about that. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll be I'll be going into treatment, but I, I finally came out of this week feeling pretty good um, after dealing with all the things, my ankle, tricep, knee, and all the things. Um, definitely still sore, but with with this time off, I'll be able to just get some treatment, get to get some recovery, and then I'll actually be able I'll be feeling good enough to get some good lifting in, to get some good running in, get back into get back into more prime shape, uh, get, get some off season type days in where I could really go run and get, get in the shape again, uh, get some sprints in, get some lifting in. Cause I've really been just trying to manage all these things through the week and I haven't been able to really get, get what I want done. Okay. Thank you. Fernando. Joey, do you feel like this is the most you feel beat up at this point? I mean, with all the different injuries that you're dealing with and how difficult is it to deal with the knee, the ankle and the tricep, all at one time. Yeah, you know, it's tough, but what, what's the, the <clears throat> what's most tough about it is um, the tricep affecting my other lifts and not being able to 
to run and be able to lift and, and be able to keep up with my, my usual things that keep me in my best shape. Uh, so yeah, that's been tough. And then obviously missing practice and not, not getting those reps. Cause I feel like during the season, that's, that's my time to truly improve is, is every week through practice, practice what I've been learning. So just missing those reps and missing uh, some of the stuff outside with, with lifting and stuff has been pretty tough. So yeah, it's definitely uh for, for for week five, I'm definitely pretty beat up, but it's all things that are manageable, and uh, luckily there's things that uh, that are just dings here and there that I that I was able to push through and make it to an early bye week, and now now it's time to get back healthy. Was it tough on Monday to uh, to obviously not start the game and kind of come in and go out and then come back in? Was that tough going back and forth uh, because of the injuries? Yeah, it was a little. It was a little weird. Of course, it's. I try my best to stay uh, stay warm, but you know, it was it was pretty easy to stay in the game. I thought Isaac had a really good week. All the guys had a great week, so I was really engaged and watch, watching them. Uh, just wanted to be ready to go in whenever my coach needed me. And then when I, when Chenna went down, they needed me a few plays on on first and second down, and I was there to help. But uh, it, it was just great to see the guys step up when they needed them with me and Mel out. Um, well, not out, but limited. Uh, it was it was great to see all the guys did did an unbelievable job. But um, it, it was a little different. But it kind of felt similar to the Raiders game my rookie year, my, my first game when I kind of came in for the first time and got two sacks. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I should have had two. Um, against uh, was it has this year just felt different like it just seems like usually you guys have a couple of injuries that hit you guys but this year just feels like I mean in the New Orleans game Keenan goes down then Chenna yeah. goes down and does it feel like it's a little bit um, more than normal all the injuries honestly no because we've kind of always dealt with this um, I mean rookie year I think Woodhead Keenan and Manti all went down for the season in the, in the first game so it's uh, maybe first and second game I think it was but uh, I actually honestly lose track because it's been it's been kind of like this. I feel like almost every year, even the year uh, we went twelve and four, I was out for nine weeks. But um, it's it's just tough. I mean, everybody in the league we knew that this year especially was going to be tough with the short camp and all the uncertainty. But it's tough, and we 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 just have to figure out how to deal with it. But I think as uh, backups have been doing a really good job coming in. And then uh, Anthony Lynn named uh, Justin Herbert the starter last week. Uh, just how impressed have you been with him, and how did you feel like he played on uh, on Monday? I think he played great. I think he uh, he's making some great throws. He just needs to stay a little calm back there. He, he gets a little flustered sometimes, but he's he's doing a lot better job getting outside the pocket. I think he's ma he made some awesome plays, rolling out, made some throws on the run that were – pretty unbelievable I think you all know the the one that I'm I'm talking about um but yeah he's 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 growing he's gonna make mistakes I mean we all made mistakes he came up to me after the game said sorry I think he he was really upset about the throw that he threw behind a guy a yard I mean after all the I told him uh Justin after all, all the amazing throws he made today it's okay we all we all made mistakes it's it's all of us so I think he's he's doing a good job as a leader, and uh, I, I'm proud of how he, how he, how he's moving along right now. Thank you, Joey. Thanks, Cam. Hey, hey, Joey. Thanks for making time for us. Uh, talking about leadership on the defensive side of the ball. Who do you guys look for some, for inspiration and in, in, in vocal leadership on the defensive side of the ball? Um, you know, when the game's going, I think we all just look to each other. I don't know if it's really, really one guy. I try to be that guy for, for all my guys on the D line. Uh, everybody, I just try to, I try to stress that at the end of the game that, uh, it's our, it's our time. We have to make this stop, but we could win the game right here. But like I was kind of saying earlier, it's not about will it's, uh, every, every guy on that defense wants to win extremely bad it's uh it, it goes beyond that right now I can I can hype these guys up as much as possible right now but we need to we need to execute and we need to execute better and I think that goes beyond um energy or whatever this is I think it goes goes more to preparation 
and game plan and all of this. So, I mean, all the guys, no matter what happens, turn over this or that, they, we do a great job. Defense doesn't get down on each other. Guys are always getting each other, keeping each other up in that. But uh, like, I, like I was saying, I just, I think it goes beyond that right now. Okay. Um, you mentioned what you're going to kind of focus on rehabbing, quote unquote, your body and kind of getting ready for the second part of the season. Uh, will you find any time for downtime? during this next week to just kind of rest and get your mind away from football. Do you have time for that right now? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think it's, it's always important to work in uh, recovery and just time to rest and let your mind get away. This is a long season and, and you're at it every single day. And when you have, when you have a bye week, I think it's important. I'll probably go out to dinner on Saturday. My dad will be here. So my brother's been staying with me. He's been recovering. So I'll get to spend even more time with them. Um, Probably go get a nice dinner dinner on Saturday, maybe have a glass or two of wine and just try to relax, and, and that'll be the extent of it. <laughs> You're a red or white guy? You're a red or white guy? Oh, uh, red, red. My mom's taught me well. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your time, Joey. Have a good one. Thanks. Uh, two more, Joey. Uh, Joe Reed. Reedy. Joey, with the not practicing on Wednesdays, is – is it more frustration because there was no off season and a mini camp and stuff and you feel like you've got to make up for lost time or is that just yeah. always the way you've been wired? Yeah, that's, that's actually a good question. That is, uh, it definitely adds on to it. Um, either way, it would be frustrating to miss those reps, but also being out of, I, I missed some time during this short camp even. So even how short how shortened it was to begin with, I even missed time in that. So I really haven't had a lot of time to really prepare myself, missing OTAs and all that. Um, and for me, I, I I really value my practice. And uh, so yeah, it is it is definitely fr a little frustrating, but um, I have to I have to control what I can control, and that comes down to more film study. Um, trying to get more mental reps is as much as you hear that, but uh, just, just being engaged and watching Isaac's reps every single play and just trying to get it mentally as much as I can. And then you've got four sacks the first five games. It, you look to, you look the same to us, but have you felt any maybe <laughs> increased good. pressure or relax or more relaxed after signing the quarter, after signing the contract during the off season? Um, you know, I, for the last three, four years playing, expecting to get a contract, I, I kind of expected it to take pressure off me. Like, oh man, I got the contract, oh whatever, I, now I just play. But no, it kind of is even more pressure, it feels like. Um, I just don't want to let people down. I want to live up to, to the expectations and to, to what the expectations that the team has for me. So. Um, it's tough dealing with these injuries, but I'm just trying trying to live up to those expectations the best I can. Okay, and I know you mentioned it with Cam, but your dad coming into town and stuff, and with Nick staying with you, how how is it going to be having family around for the weekend? And was yeah. your dad coming in because there was a home game scheduled this weekend anyway? No, it's it's uh, it's been great ever since he got the surgery. My mom and dad have been switching in and out, so they've actually been out here for a few weeks now. So he's coming back out. He was just here a week ago. Um, he's coming to be be the nurse for Nick, so n not for me. Uh, he's he's getting uh, full treatment from those two, but it's just it's great great having them around, uh, keeping the place tidy for me, of course, and and food constantly running, so I <laughs> can't complain. <laughs> Okay. Thanks, Joey. All right. Last one, Joey Gilbert. Go ahead. Yeah, Joey, more, more on that uh, contract you got. And, and with all the injuries, do you, did you feel like you needed to play Monday and, and say there weren't that many injuries? Maybe you wouldn't have gone or, or I guess what kind of went through your mind with having to play on Monday? You know, I was just going to be completely honest with myself because um, I really didn't know through the week if I was going to be able to go. And if I can go and I can play effectively, I'm, I'm going to play. Um, so it really came down to the game time decision and I went out, went on the early bus, went out and, and tested my ankle a little bit. And I was like, you know what, I can go. Um, 
I, I knew Isaac had a great week of practice, so so I, I knew my role was just going to be in there, be there to support and come in on third down to help with the pass rush. So I was pretty confident. I I, I didn't want to dress if I wasn't totally confident, and I go out there and I'm not able to play after a quarter and we miss out on dressing another another person that could help us win. So I just wanted to be honest about it. And is it tricep the one that is kind of bothering the most from the three injuries? You know, this week the ankle was the most, I had the most uncertainty about. My tricep and my knee I could both deal with. It's more of a, a pain tolerance and my tricep I could kind of protect a little bit. The knee is just a pain in the butt I have to deal with swelling and bruising but my ankle turning and cornering on it was it was questionable the whole week until the game really if if it was a Sunday night I, I honestly don't think I would have been able to go so it was uh pretty huge that I had an extra day was that something that kind of just you know you tweaked in practice or what happened with the ankle my ankle actually happened in the game uh the previous week and I don't really I don't really remember I re Woke up on uh, Monday and it was I could hardly walk on it, so it was uh, ended up being fine in the MRI, but it was just it was a sore low ankle sprain. And, and one more, uh, Joey, I guess I'm gonna make you guess here, but do you feel like after the bye week you you'll be close to 100 percent, or what's kind of your estimation? Uh, it's impossible to. I don't think I'll ever be 100 percent, quite 100 percent again in my life. But uh, no, it's I, I'll it'll be huge, and I'm excited to get some running, get some uh, lifting, and get back into get back into great shape and be ready to roll. Thank you, Joey. Thank you. All right, Joey. Thanks for the Thank time. You. Thanks, Joey. All right, guys. We'll see you back here. <laughs>